What's going on guys, Bangalene here coming back at you with another video. We are back for another episode of the 49ers franchise going into week 3 to face the 0-2 Rams. We are of course 0-2 and, and everyone's telling me in the comments that the league settings are screwed up and that all Madden isn't the way to go so I've changed it to all pro for this episode. I know many of you really enjoy seeing me rage at the game and that's all well and good but maybe we're going to have more of a fighting chance now and we might actually score some points so, the 0-2 49ers going up against the 0-2 Rams. Let's do a little bit of scouting. If there's anyone good, you guys will know about it. Craig Dellenbach can throw the ball. 22 years old out of Texas A&M. A throw power, B plus throw accuracy short, B throw accuracy mid. He's a guy that can really sling it. So can Kerry Davidson out of Florida State. Usually quarterbacks out of the first round are just always trash because they can't throw the ball that far. But uh, these are two studs at the top of the board. All right, Thursday night football. The color rush jerseys will be out. All right, here we are kicking off. We're in the all black. I kind of wish the 49ers uh, color rush jerseys were all gold. Not all gold, all red, I mean. <laughs> but their home jerseys already are kind of all red. But I, I mean, the black isn't bad. It's just it, something looks off about it. I don't know. All right, here we go. How is all pro going to treat us? To run to the right. We're going to go get there with Ruben Foster. What? Dude, this game, man. Like, I swear to God. Let's get this tackle. Please and thank you. 60 yards from Malcolm Brown. Hook him horns on the first play of the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in replay mode. See if we can diagnose the issue here. So I'm going to line up as Ruben Foster. Going to take a step to the right before quickly realizing it isn't at, uh, a stretch to the halfback. Uh, we're going to have one of our players get absolutely annihilated. I think it's Rashard Robinson. And it is. Switch back to Ruben Foster here. You guys can see what happens. I go right to the running back, right? I press A to conservative tackle. Let's just go ahead and check how Ruben Foster conservative tackles on this play. That was a great effort, Ruben. Throw it to me. That's a user pick. Easy reads. Green eggs and ham. Here we go, Ruben. Here we go. Here we go. I shouldn't have taken that out. You got to, though. <laughs> Easy reads already. It's been a while since I've said that. And the first time in this entire series I've said it against the CPU. All pro difficulty. I'm kind of liking it. Things are open. There's Carlos Hyde. Pretty big game. His longest game of the series, if I'm not mistaken. Dump it off. Dude, what is that? I pressed it. He, he takes his arm to throw the ball. It already could have come out, and then he holds it and brings it down because he, he's oh, I'm about to get hit. It's like, yeah, if you threw the ball, you wouldn't be hit. Okay. Fourth and 12, and we will have to punt. All pro is an absolute joy as well. Ruben Foster again. We're covering this. We're breaking apart. That's open. Sammy Watkins is going to abuse Dante Johnson in coverage. I think that was Dante Johnson. That is so open. Whose man is that? Sammy, how are we leaving the best player on the field, arguably, wide open? Looks like a run. It is. Get there. There we go, Navarro. We got the inside of the field. Don't throw it our way. And there is the sack. DeForest Buckner getting after the quarterback, forcing a field goal attempt more than likely. Great effort from the defense. All right, negative one tar uh, yards of total offense. Negative one yards. Okay, we're just actually going to run the ball here. Maybe get some positive yardage with Carlos Hyde for the first time ever. And there we go. Oh, my goodness. All pro difficulty. Is that what this can do for me? Actually create holes in the blocks? Carlos Hyde to the end zone. What a run. 76 yards to the house for the former Buckeye. Look at Aaron Donald. What, is, what a loser. You got to make the tackle. You suck. He's like the best defensive player in the league, arguably. <laughs> it's a run. It's not. It's play action. We're going to drop back. Ruben Foster and pressure's in there. Richard Robinson on the cornerback blitz. 
It's going to be a run. And big hit from Eric Reed. The ball's out. Somebody get it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Recovered by Richard Robinson. Oh, my goodness. This is a completely different series now. We're dominant. Super Bowl bound. Rolling out C.J. Beathard. We're going to dump it off. It's Marquise Goodwin. Flash. End zone touchdown. Who could stop this offense? Nobody. C.J. Beathard with his first career passing touchdown here in week three. And these winless Rams are getting a taste of uh, what we've been tasting, I guess, the past couple weeks, which is somebody else's medicine, I guess. There's a run. Huge hit from Ruben Foster. Oh, boy. Here it's half after all. Get there. Dude, what is that? I'm right there with Navarro Bowman. I swear the A button is absolutely broken in franchise. It is unreal. Absolutely unreal. I'm going after the quarterback. Get there. I don't think I got credit for half a sack. They're going to give it to Aaron Lynch. But pressure is coming through. I did a, a non-design blitz there. Look at this. Look at this blitz. I'm to the flat, and that is wide open. Jimmy Ward, please chase him down. Tavon Austin's way too fast. That's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. Wow. Strong safety blitz was not the call there. Not the call at all. 70 yards to the house goes Tavon Austin. That's unfortunate. Come on, Mostert. Oh, Mostert. There's space. No. Oh, he broke it. We're going to spin back. Oh, my God. He's breaking tackles. What is he doing? Mostert. <laughs> to the 25. Nice touchback. Looking for something. Beathard throwing. Open. Diving catch by Marquise Goodwin. Let's try running the ball again. Carlos Hyde and blocking is now dominant. I'm not sure I like this, man. Carlos Hyde's going to break a tackle. And Carlos Hyde could be gone. He's not out at the nine. I think I need new sliders because I guess all pro is not the move. Maybe need all pro with adjusted sliders. If you guys know where to find sliders, I guess um, put that down in the comment section below. Because this feels too easy where all Madden with my adjusted sliders was way too hard. So if you know where I can find all pro adjusted sliders, please let me know. Because like this is not a dominant offense that's you know performing fairly dominantly. I but like last time it was way too hard, like no one was doing anything. But this is just like kinda it's not the opposite, but it's pretty close. I'm gonna give him a chance, I think. George Kittle. Uh, that one was a little little high. Oh no. There was no need to go for hit sticks there. Please, just somebody get him, somebody get him, somebody get him. Somebody get him! Please! Thank you. And that is going to be the stop. I don't know what Dante Johnson's doing because his responsibility was the flat there and I was supposed to pick up the vert to hook and I had Robert Woods or Sammy Watkins well covered and he just didn't drop down at all. That's going to be good. Playmaker feature. That's open. Look at the pass. And Carlos Hyde takes a gigantic shot. Oh my. It's Mark Barron. We don't want to do that again. 37 seconds to play. I'm going to go with Beathard again. He's so slow, he fumbled. He, I shouldn't have done that. I keep saying that. I keep doing it. I keep saying that I'm not going to do it, but I keep doing it anyway. Um, we're going to call a timeout. Okay. Snap the ball. Snap the ball. Kittle. Kittle! What, you idiot? God, drag your feet. That's a touchdown. Now it's fourth and two. Here we go. The moment of truth. Do they cover it? They don't. Robbie Gold. It's George Kittle. Touchdown. Let's go. The fake field goal flip pass. Robbie Gold out here throwing touchdowns. He has as many touchdown passes on the year as our starting quarterback does. Unreal. Great clock management, though. We're going to leave him with four seconds. Going up deep to the end zone. If Tavon Austin wanted to put in any amount of effort, he would have probably caught that off the tip. But I'm fine to take that to halftime. I'm going to throw that ball. What a pass from C.J. Beathard. Marquise Goodwin. I think we might have more total yards of offense in this game than the rest of the games combined, which is granted only two but that's still also ridiculous considering we've only played two halves of football. Or excuse me, two quarters and then like 
a minute of football, so kind of ridiculous. There's Carlos Hyde. I need a block there. Look at Quinton Patton. Just absolutely no idea where the ball is. All right, third and eight. Running a similar play action. So this time we are not streaking George Kittle. They are all over it. Pressure's coming through. We're going to throw it. It's picked off by Maurice Alexander. Nothing open. I forced it. And now the Rams have the ball. I should have just taken the sack. And that is a pass. And oh my goodness. Well, obviously. Richard Robinson can't get there. Eric Reed can't get there in time. It's another completion for Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams. Can we please get a stop? Can we please? That is wide open to the outside. Sammy Watkins just destroyed Dante Johnson, then spun past and made him fall down after he stepped out of bounds. That's pretty disrespectful, but it's warranted. Dante Johnson's, a, you know, he's Dante Johnson. I mean, he's not very good. It's a run. It is. Oh my goodness, somebody get there. Somebody get there. Malcolm Brown, touchdown. They're going to go for two and try to make this a uh, two-point ball game. I don't know why Reuben Foster's out here. It's going to be a run. Davis is in the end zone. Two-point conversion is good. Here we go. There's the pancake blocks. Carlos Hyde is gone. Carlos Hyde to the 25-20. Defensive lineman in pursuit, and he is not going to get him. Connor Barwin, nowhere near as fast as Carlos Hyde, who's really coming out here today with a 68-yard touchdown. Great pancake blocks, but that, that's unfair. Like These sliders need to be changed. Please let me know. Because that's just too easy. Oh, it is a run. I totally vacated my gap. Oh my goodness, I'm switching on. Malcolm Brown is not going to have another touchdown. No way. I vacated my gap. I expected play action. They were doing play action, play action, play action the entire ball game. Then they actually finally handed off on the, that type of a play. Well done. That's good play calling from the young coach, Sean McVay. But he is no Bengus Khan. There's a play action again. And check down to the flats. Malcolm Brown can't haul it in. Here's a run. I'm there. It's a play action. They didn't go to the flat. They went to a covered receiver in Navarro Bowman. Not even number. I thought it said 53. Richard Robinson can't step in front of that. Really? He got boxed out. Bad. Spread the linebackers. Here's the run. Up the gut. And no can do. And there's an injury as well. It's going to be Malcolm Brown. DeForest Buckner came up and made a tackle. And that's going to be to the end zone. It's picked off Jimmy Ward. Oh, I got a block. I'm taking it out. Should not have done that. And It's not that bad. It's six yards. Who cares? Third and two. Why would we not keep going to Carlos Hyde? It's never fumbled for us on this season. That's up the middle. Blocking is decent. Carlos Hyde's going to break a tackle. Robert Quinn going for the football. Not going to be able to get it. Carlos Hyde is up to 225 rushing yards on the day. And why stop now? Here we go. Up the middle. There's good blocking. We're going to juke. Carlos Hyde. Another 10-plus game. Third and 11. All we need to do is come out and uh, I guess even get a field goal will be fine. We're going to check down. Oh, what is that? Bethard, no! Throws it right to John Johnson the third, And Joe Staley dislocated his thumb. That was pretty poor. The Rams have a fighting chance now. Which is clearly not what we want. That's incomplete. Who's injured, by the way? That's incomplete. I'm throwing the challenge flag. There's no way that was completed. Absolutely no way. Bengus Khan going to toss the challenge flag out there. Give me the call. There's not even a chance. Feet are clearly out. Like, it's not even close. Look. It's not even close to it. You guys can see his feet, right? Pretty sure. If this doesn't get overturned, this would be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, they're going to overturn it. Thank you. Oh, Zach Fumble. Get there. Get there. Elvis Doomerville picks it up. Elvis Doomerville, touchdown. We're going to score defensively as the old-timer gets it done. There we go, man. 38-21. to 21. This game is over. That's going to be intercepted. It's Navarro Bowman. I think that's his second or third interception on the season. There we go, boy. That's game. 
That's game. 30 seconds to go here in Santa Clara. Handoff's going to go right back to Carlos Hyde. Aaron Donald going to break a tackle, try to get a tackle to be, huh? Whatever, 250 yards of the day for Carlos Hyde. Uh, and we should be not even punting here. This game is over. And the clock has hit zero. Sean McVay is noticeably frustrated, but there's nothing he can do about it. These 49ers came out and they dominated, thanks largely in part to the running of one Carlos Hyde. C.J. Beathard didn't play all that poorly. But, you know, the Rams were scoring fairly consistently, and then in the fourth quarter, pretty much all plateaued. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't want the series to go like this because dominating is not all that fun, believe it or not. There's no challenge. All I had to do was hand the ball to Carlos Hyde and he'd go off. Crazy that he only got um, a combined 782 XP after rushing for 250 yards. Thanks, EA. However, Solomon Thomas is going to be out for four weeks with a pulled groin. That is a rough injury. Four weeks for, you know, one of our best young players on the entire defense. We did not need that. But our next matchup is going to be going down to Scottsdale, Arizona to take on the Arizona Cardinals from University of Phoenix Stadium. So I will see you there at 4.05 p.m., even though that's definitely not going to get uploaded at that time. Actually, you know, it could. Whatever. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. This shit don't run well.